Hey, what's up guys? So, Field Day MVP 2018, wrapping it up with number one, this guy. The ICOM 7300, of course, right? Um, I absolutely love this radio. I have had buyer's remorse on so many things, not just ham radio related, but just growing up buying things, and I was like, yeah, I spent a good chunk of money, and it didn't get me all the way there. The 7300 has surprised me so many times beyond the value that I paid into it, at least I believe. Don't get me wrong, it's expensive, I get that. And it's still considered an entry-level radio, which kind of boggles my mind, almost $1,000 or more in some cases for a radio that considered entry level, but wow, so many great features, so much great functionality. For field day, it performed just exactly at the level I wanted it to. Kilo India 6, November, Alpha Zulu. Kilo India 6, November, Alpha Zulu, 1 Bravo LAX, 1 Bravo LAX. That's KI6 NAZ Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu 1 Bravo 1 Bravo LAX Roger uh, 1 Bravo LAX Thank you Thank you Bam 3A Eastern Pennsylvania in the log I loved that pre-recorded click the button CQ CQ field day Great 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 um, right now, I'm actually working FT8 trying to get the Baker Island de-expedition. I'm having trouble with that on 20 meters. Got them on 17. I think that's more to do with them than I at this point, um, but I'll keep trying. The 7300, what an amazing radio for so many different reasons. I'll do a much more expanded video on the 7300 and its capability. Right now I need to get it in some kind of rack thing. By the way, this is one wall of my shack in case you guys were wondering. Um, man, MVP, easy MVP for the 7300. A couple of things that stand out on the 7300 are uh, internal tuners pretty good up to three SWR. The waterfall, probably one of the most useful things on the radio, being able to hop to strong frequencies. And if you were watching my live stream, there were so many targets out there. There was so much going on. The ability to jump through there, um, filter, add a little bit of compression on your mic to get out there. All things that are capable just right on that touchscreen. Really, really cool. I tuned my waterfall to have um, special colors. When there's a really strong signal, they pop out really great with the color difference. Stock, the 7300, I should do a video on this. Stock, the 7300 has this kind of like blue, sea of blue, and it just gets more intense blue when there's a signal that you want to look at. You can change that so you can make it like orange or green when there's a signal that's really strong. That's what I set mine to, so that it like jumps out at you and you go, okay, that's exactly what I want to go after. And that worked beautifully on field day. I was able to just jump around single sideband on 20 meters, for example, and get to exactly where I wanted to be. So major points for that. I already mentioned the recorder, but the recorder couldn't be easier to use, man. You just hit that record. So, here we go. CQ field day, Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Oh my God, there's so many signals. Start talking, you don't have to key the mic or anything, just talking to the mic, and boom, there you go, hit that play button. I got a few calls back that way. Didn't run CQ, um, didn't run call in CQ very often on this because it makes jumping and sniping so easy, which for those of you with 100 watts, no more than 100 watts or somewhere around there, because it tops out at 100 watts. Perfect. You just boom, 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 click, boom, click, boom. Follow the follow the conversations that are going on. When, when one ends, just get back in there when they call QRZ. Call it up. Easy to do. So if you want to see my operation, you can have like 10 hours of it um, if you go check out the live stream that I posted. Anyway, that's going to do it for the Field Day MVPs for 2018. I hope you enjoyed the series. Please post in the comments below what you thought. Anyway, as always, please hit subscribe, hit that dingling bell so you know when I go live every seven, every Friday at 7 p.m. We got a Facebook, got a Reddit, got a Discord. They're the Ham Radio Crash Course. Links are in the description. I've got the Patreon newsletter, which is coming out or already out, depending on when I post this. So go check that out. Links are all in the description for all the things. If you want any of these products, again, links are in the description. Okay, guys, that'll do it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.